Hey everybody, this is Brianna Rudder, and in this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to do a braid pattern for crochet braids with absolutely no leave out on your own hair, step by step for beginners. If you are new here, subscribe right now to see more affordable, beginner friendly hair tutorials on my YouTube channel. Also click the bell for notifications to make sure that you never miss a new video from me again. Now let's get started with this super easy crochet braid pattern. And for starters, I'm just showing you an overall look of how your braid pattern will look right before I begin teaching you how to do it. So now to get started, this is my hair in its natural or you can say relaxed state. As you can tell, I definitely need to touch up on my roots and one thing that I wanna let you know is I like to keep my hair short for just ease of life and also to help me with being able to do my tutorials a lot easier. So if you wanna see more of a hair care routine and different things that I like to do with my hair when I'm not wearing weave, be sure to let me know down below in the comment section. So now what we're going to do is we're going to use a rat tail comb to part our hair. I suggest that you use any comb that makes it easy for you to part without causing any irritation or tenderness when actually combing your hair. So first we're going to determine where our part will be and because I'm wearing a middle part I actually never part my hair in the middle. I always slightly part it off to the side and then part it straight. The reason why is because I have a slight widow's peak at the beginning of my hairline and when I part directly in the middle it's very difficult to keep that widow's peak neat. So I part around the peak and then I part straight back. So if you have a widow's peak let me know in the comment section okay so now at this point I'm just showing you my texture up close right before I begin parting and braiding my hair so I part it down directly all the way going to the center of my head and now I'm going to part going from ear to ear I like to part going past my ear because it helps for my crochet braids to lay a lot more natural so instead of parting in front of your ear decide to part behind your ear and you will see a big difference when you're actually laying down your crochet hair so now I'm just going to section this hair off with a clip so that way I can get back to it just a little bit later because I'm actually going to braid the back of my head first. And as you can tell my part is not neat. You don't have to worry about that because nobody's going to see your part anyway. So all you want to do is just define the area where you want your braids to be and then you're going to get the braiding. So this is how my hair looks. I have one section in the back and two up front. And we're gonna get to the front section later, but for now, I wanna show you my technique when I'm braiding the back of my hair for my crochet braids. So I always like to part my hair using a rat tail comb. And as you can see here, my actual new growth is pretty thick. So you wanna take your time when parting and braiding your hair, especially if you're natural or you're relaxed, but you're due for a relaxer. So I like to braid my hair just a little bit, and then I like to grab the tail end of the previous braid and begin braiding going back in the opposite direction. You want to make sure to alternate the direction you're going when you're braiding the back by going left to right, right to left, because this helps you to distribute the bulk of your hair. If your hair is thin or if your hair is thick, it does not matter. If you make sure to zigzag back and forth, it will allow for your install to be very flat and realistic. You don't want to have big, huge, ginormous King Kong braids and then put crochet hair on top because it's going to look crazy. You're going to have too much volume in the back and it's going to look like you, you have a helmet head or something like that going on. So if you want that look, no shade, but when you're doing crochet braids, you want to make sure that you make your braids very flat so that it'll actually look realistic. So as you can see here, I'm just braiding my last two sections at the top, making sure to add the tail end as I braid along to finish off the back of my hair. So as you can see here, I have a braid that's going in that direction and then when I actually looped back around, I grabbed the tail end of the previous one to finish it off. Now at this point, I'm going to actually use some edge growth or hair growth oil to put onto my hair. You can choose to put this all over your hair or only on areas that you want to be thicker. Now I like to put this all over my hair because I like the feeling of thicker hair, especially when I'm relaxing my new growth. It just lets my hair look a little bit more fuller than normal. I have a lot of hair, but I have fine hair, meaning that the strands of my hair are very small, but I have a lot of hair. So I have thick, fine hair. So now at this point, I'm just pulling the actual tail end of my braid through some of the neighboring braids so that way I can have a very flat base in the back. So this is how you should look at this point before you begin braiding the braids in the front of your head. 
So each section will be braided going straight to the back and you are going to braid the tails all the way to the ends so that way you can crochet them and that way they won't stick out of your braid pattern. So this is how you look in the back and you do not have to braid upside down or anything crazy like that. This braid pattern allows you to braid your own hair. So I went ahead and braided all of my braids in the front going straight back and I have a total of anywhere from 18 to about 15 braids in the front. I tried to aim for having half of my head on both sides be 10 braids. So if you fall a little short of that or you go a little more than that that's totally fine now at this point I'm going to begin crocheting my braids onto the back of my braid pattern being sure to select exactly where I want the tails to go so that way I can distribute the bulk of my hair so be sure not to grab five braids in the front and just pull them straight back through one big braid because you're gonna have a really big hump wherever you did that at. so take your time grab one braid at a time and put it in areas where you don't have as much bulk so you have a very flat install the braid pattern base is one of the most important parts of doing a crochet style if you put two big huge braids in your head and expect it to look flawless and last forever it won't so you have to take your time if you want to create a very beautiful and long wearing look when I wore my crochet braids they lasted me for about a good two weeks before I had to occasionally trim off a little bit of frizz from the curls so if you do my techniques your actual crochet braids should for sure last you for a month or longer as you can see my braid pattern is complete all the braids in front are going straight to the back and I believe I have anywhere from about 15 to 18 braids at the very front of my head I made sure to grab one tail end of a braid at a time and I pulled it through the braid pattern at the back of my head so that way I can keep my braids very flat before my install so this is my favorite way to do my braid pattern for crochet braids because it gives me long lasting results without my hair coming loose so now at this point, I'm going to show you a really quick overview of how to do the actual crochet technique when you're adding braiding hair onto your hair. Now you can use any hair you want and I prefer that you use curly to kinky textured hair because it helps the hairstyle to stay onto your braids and it actually allows for it to look very natural. So I cut the long ringlet in half and I'm going to show you how I crochet that because it's super easy. You just close the latch, pull it through and you're going to loop both tail ends through twice. Once you loop it through twice, you then pull it to create a knot super easy to do now you mostly want to do this technique when you're near the back of your head and I'm going to show you a slightly different technique that you want to do when you're near the front so be sure to work your way going back and forth on both sides so that way you can have the same amount of thickness on both sides of your head so keep that in mind when you're working on the edges I want you to divide your ringlets into smaller pieces as small as this and then we want to pull both legs through on the edge of your head and pull through to create a knot this allows for your hairstyle to look extremely natural near the hair line almost like it's growing through your hair I don't see this technique a lot I don't even think that I've even seen a video I may have seen a picture of it but I really like the way that it looks when the knots are extremely small near the front area of your head because if you decide to pin your hair back it allows for your style to look extremely natural and realistic so as you can see that's the finished look of how it looks on the edges and I went ahead and finished working on the other side as well I also put a little bit of edge control on and I shaped up my hair just a tad bit. So if you want to see a detailed tutorial on how I style up my hair, just let me know and I'll show you how I trim it up and do all different types of looks with my crochet braids. And remember, you can use any colors you want to pull off your look. And I want to thank y'all so much for watching. To see more, be sure to subscribe and also click the bell for notifications because I got some amazing videos on the way. Bye-bye.